through a devastating product in the summer months. And not many people know about it, to be honest. And it's quite commonly used, commercial snake baits. It can be brilliant at times when just feeding casters by themselves doesn't have the required effect. You can put a cloud in it. And that's where this product called Worm Slop, which is peat, um, comes into play. But it can be quite hard to get hold of the right product. And when you buy it, it can be quite messy riddling it and stuff. So onto the worm slot first, and then I'll ask you about a little bit about the liquids in a minute. But the worm slot to start with, what are you looking for initially to be able to make your worm slot? Well, with worm slot, basically what it is, it's a peat that's ready riddled for you. It comes in a three litre bag. And what it allows you to do is in the summer months, when you're fishing with sort of worms and casters, sometimes if you want to get your bait to the bottom quickly, then you need a carrier. Yeah. You don't always want to feed ground bait. Sometimes you just want to feed soil with your worms and casters and get your bait down. Yeah. So there's a few different things you can actually do with it. You can also make it for fishing shallow, but how you mix it determines yeah. that yeah. what you're yeah. going to use yeah. it for. Yeah. So yeah. basically, like I said, it comes in a three litre bag, yeah. £3.49, and then that'll yeah. basically last you all match. Yeah, brilliant. So And it's pre-riddled, so you ain't got to do nothing with it. It's pre-riddled, you know, Dif different soils, you know, you end up with different weights and every soil is ever so slightly different. With yeah. this, what you're looking for is that nice, fine, fluffy texture. Yeah, and it's very dark as well. Yeah. That's a good so, thing because that's going to help with the cloud. It's dead dark, it's, you know, it's going to, depend on how you mix it, Yeah. you can do it for different things. Okay. So I'm just going to show you roughly how to mix it. So yeah. all you do, take a little bit of water and just get some water into it. This is going to help it sink. You know, you don't want it too dry because yeah. you'll get just little bits floating off it. You don't want that. So just get it nice and damp, but you don't want it too damp. So all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of water yeah. until I get it to that sort of consistency where, it's like you know, putty almost, yeah, it's almost like putty. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. that's my starting consistency. So if I was looking to fish on the bottom, then that there, when that's in my bait tub, yeah. when you move it about in your bait tub, you can see there, it sort of doesn't stick to the yeah, bait tub. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's as I slide one, it that way, yeah. it all goes to one side. Yeah. That's great for carrying your bait to the bottom. Okay. Because, you know, if I want to add worms to this or casters to this, pellets, whatever I decide to add to this. Now, if you add pellets to it, what that can do is... Micro can pellets. Stiff, micro pellets. Not fours or sixes. No, no just no, micro pellets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What will happen is, obviously this has got moisture in it, so your micros will give it that fish meal scent. And yeah. you don't want that earthy soil there's no real scent to it no. so i always like to either add a few micro pellets that'll give it that fish meal scent it'll get rid of that wormy earth uh, yeah, that the, soily earth smell yeah. so the other thing you can do if you want to fish shallow with this then yeah. you need to at this point add a little bit more water so yeah. i'm only talking dripping it in by hand and getting it to that consistency you know you can see how quickly it changes yeah. so if you do over wet it just add a little bit more soil back into it it, all of a sudden it changes to like that sloppy yeah. texture. Now, if it's too wet, what will happen is when you go to throw it, or if you can't throw it at certain venues, you've got to cup it in, it'll just be like a soup and you don't want it like that. You want it where you can see the water's on the top of yeah. it, but I can still form a ball and I could throw that as a ball and it stays yeah. together. Yeah. Now, if I was looking to fish shallow in the summer months, then what I can do is I can add a little bit of chopped worm to it, or a few casters. You don't yeah. want lots of particles in yeah. it when you're fishing shallow, but I want a little bit of bait so I can feed that nice and accurate. Where that lands, I'm gonna drop my rig straight on top of it, and it's a devastating way of catching fish shallow in the summer. Yeah. So you've got two different things. Add a little bit of water just to get it to that stage where it's like that stodgy Play-Doh yeah. type yeah. thing. That's for feeding like <clears> in shallow water, and you'd have a few worms and casters mixed in. So your attraction is your peat yeah and then when it goes down to the bottom there's a few worms and casters that eat in you a bit of worm on the hook catch them and then likewise when you're fishing shallow you can be throwing casters in they might not turn on if it's flat or uh, but you can start feeding worm slop and all of a sudden you've got a cloud in your peg they start coming up because they're more confident in the cloud yeah it just gives them a bit of cloud and a bit of thing okay now if you didn't want to add pellets to it but you didn't want that smell of like soil the soil and the, that earthy smell yeah. then that is where your liquids come okay. in so 
your two two liquids here that you can use in conjunction with it. You've got the wor liquid worm concentrate, yeah. which is 100% active worm formula. So it's it's all the goodness of yeah. worms, but you don't have to chop a kilo up to do it. So yeah. it just bulks your bait out a little bit yeah. better. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit cheaper than chopping a kilo yeah. of worms up. So you might only use a quarter of a kilo and add a little bit yeah. of that, and it yeah. just gives it that worm scent. And then the other side to it, if you want sort of that lingering cloud because you're catching a lot of fish really shallow then you've got the detonator which is full of amino acids and you know it's yeah. a real potent mix that is going to it ends up like a red color you can also use that as like a dye so yeah. you can see there i've just dyed some little white boilies and they've took the color on yeah. brilliantly so yeah if you want to use the detonator that's again, good shallow it's good for shallow yeah. fishing yeah. so literally be careful when you mix it because you don't want tons of it because it is very potent yeah. so just add a little bit of time until you get that nice red cloud so i'll do a little demonstration in the water just so you can see but literally just a drop of it and then just mix that into your worm slop yeah get it all around nice and even and then when i drop that in you'll see the red cloud yeah. that comes off yeah. it just enhancing that yeah cloud. again it just gives it that scent whereas like when there's no pellets or there's no <clears throat> worm concentrate yeah. or detonator yeah just that just of smells of mud <laughs> but when you add something to it either like the pellets for the fish meal scent or the worm liquid or the detonator it just gives you that little bit of an edge and a little bit of a twist to your soil fishing okay. so yeah. yeah well that's brilliant so that's something you can use on your commercial venues commercial snake lakes throughout the summer months it's a devastating tactic at the right time of the year so yeah Brilliant.